Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today I'll be talking about a new Marvel fighting game, how many episodes Ironheart will have, and a plot leak for Doctor Strange 2. If you're new to the channel or even if you've been watching for a while, make sure you subscribe because more than 96% of you guys aren't subscribed. And if you think you're subbed, double check because apparently there's a glitch where people are getting unsubscribed from certain channels. And remember that a subscription is free for you, but it really helps the channel a lot. And you can always unsub later if you want. Now let's get started. According to Daniel Rickman, NetherRealm is developing a Marvel fighting game for next-gen consoles. Details are thin on the ground at this point, but Rickman claims the game is already in production. Now, NetherRealm is a studio that created both Injustice and the Mortal Kombat games. However, Warner Bros. owns NetherRealm, which is why they're also the studio behind Injustice. So take this with a grain of salt, as it's unlikely that they would make a game for their competition. Although it could be the perfect time to make a Marvel vs. DC game, capitalizing on the success of both franchises. Next, one of the Hollywood Reporter's editors, Aaron Couch, tweeted that Ironheart will be six episodes long, and that the writer's room opens in May. And lastly, we have a plot leak for Doctor Strange 2. But like always, take this with a grain of salt as it's coming from 4chan. And while things on 4chan have been fully or partially right in the past, it's by no means confirmed. But here's your spoiler warning just in case it is right. Anyway, the leaker starts off by saying Wiccan and Speed are 100% confirmed to be in this movie. We'll see the same kid actors from WandaVision, and they'll participate in the final battle. Marvel also wants two famous actors from IT 2017 and Stranger Things for their teenage versions. Laura Dern is Clea, Tom Hiddleston is in the movie, and Loki will be very important for the plot of Spider-Man No Way Home, and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Tom Holland's Spider-Man is the only Spider-Man that will appear in this movie, and the movie will last three hours. Agatha Harkness is in the movie too, and will be helping Mordo. The main villains are Nightmare and Shuma Gorath, and Mordo works for them. The first scene of the movie shows Wanda having a nightmare, where Vision, Billy, and Tommy reappear in their house in Westview. The movie starts almost immediately after Spider-Man No Way Home. Wanda's been studying the Darkhold for approximately a year after the events of WandaVision, so she'll be very powerful in this movie. There's a scene which shows Strange's past, which will probably be caused by Wanda manipulating him like she did the Avengers in Age of Ultron. And this scene was filmed on a farm and appeared on Twitter a couple days ago. The names of the actors contacted by Marvel to play Teen Billy and Tommy are Jaden Martell as Speed and Noah Schnapp as Wiccan, but they won't appear in Doctor Strange 2 because their role is for the Young Avengers. There's also the option of letting the current actors Julian Hillhart and Jack Klein grow up with the characters, but that depends on the public's opinions of the boys. Wanda is the villain until after the middle of the movie. And yes, there is a fight scene between Strange and Wanda. America Chavez arrives into the MCU reality due to the events of Spider-Man No Way Home. She's very important because of her powers. Now, I don't have too much information about the cameos in the movie, but there will be some for sure. Currently, I only have two names, which are Bruce Campbell and Chris Evans. Also, what if is not only an animated alternate version of MCU superheroes, it's much more important than you think and will be related to this movie. This movie is like Captain America Civil War, which means that the movie will develop the character of Doctor Strange, but he's not the only main character, and the movie plot is not 100% Doctor Strange, which is why the movie will last 3 hours. Spider-Man No Way Home's post credit scene will set up this movie. Also, the movie will have a lot of references and connections to Thor The Dark World, but I think they meant to say Thor Love and Thunder. And after this movie, Amina the Wasp Quantumania is the next big Phase 4 movie, and the last one for now. But let me know what you guys think about all this. Do you want a new Marvel fighting game? And what did you think of this plot leak? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.